Hello YouTube, my name is Plazukas, and today's video is going to be on Dr. Disrespect. We are about a month from the initial Twitter post that Dr. Disrespect, the one regarding the Twitch ban, and recently we've also had some other information um, on a YouTuber named Cody Ko, and this was further exasperated by a YouTuber called D'Angelo Wallace, who basically recounted the accusations against Cody Ko um, as it relates to someone named Tana, which is Tana Mojo, a very popular reality star, YouTuber, um, infamous from the TanaCon disaster that happened um, a while back. And I think that's going to be used as the barometer from maybe Dr. Disrespect's camp to see if there's any kind of possibility for him to come back and to see maybe how he can navigate it. I am, I am almost certain that Kick is working with Dr. Disrespect, Guy, Bomb, and trying to figure out how they could slowly, maybe through a marketing trip, maybe through just dissemination of some information to see how well it is received or not received for that matter, because technically what he did is not illegal. It is frowned upon. He will get ridiculed if he comes back. Obviously people like H3H3 Projections is talking about Cody Ko. They have a connection with Tana Mojo, also has relations to the people that were covering that at the time with Trisha Paytas. So there's all this information circling around the internet. And I think Cody Ko is going to be the barometer for which we will know if Dr. Disrespect will be able to come back. He's most likely not going to come back on YouTube. He's demonetized, still banned on Twitch. That's not going to change. So his really only avenue, unless he wants to create his own platform, which is totally possible, is kick. And I'll be honest with you. I didn't expect him to come on the live stream and do Elden Ring the following Monday after the allegations were leaked, but he did. And the fact that he was very adamant that he is not done, that he's going to continue to do this, and I don't know why, other than maybe some monetary gain, um, some, you know, just credibility. Uh, whoever knows why anybody does half the decisions that they do, and what has been said about Dr. Disrespect, the guy bomb, is that, you know, he's not obviously there mentally, potentially, right? He's got some issues, some flaws. His closest friends have basically admitted to it. So maybe someone like that is already just making bad decisions to begin with. And the additional bad decision would be to come back online because he's not going to be able to go with anybody. He's going to be a platform in itself, separate, kick, you know. And there are people who will follow him. There are people who will watch him. And if he has enough time, enough momentum, I'm sure there's plenty of people who will forget and they'll move on with their life because it's not illegal because the person hasn't come forward that apparently was the accused and there isn't, you know, anything outstanding unless there is, unless we don't know, which this could have basically, you know, swirled up the hornet's nest. But I think we probably could be seeing something from kick perspective, from guy bombs perspective, from somebody else, just putting some information out there and see how it is received. I, obviously, you think it's impossible. I don't think anything is impossible, um, especially with the presidential campaign that we have right now. If that can happen, this can happen. If Cody Ko can survive, you know, anybody can survive. It, it doesn't really matter in the end. If it's not illegal, um, even though, you know, it's distasteful or um, abhorrent or whatever else you want to say, and there's plenty of words that you can use, and I've said them on this channel as well, and I'm not going to have to go into that right now because that's a separate video. It doesn't matter. People can come back from anything. You know, we do have a rehabilitation system in this country. Obviously, it happens after you've been found guilty. And if given enough time, you have probation and parole and you, you come back out and you try to be a reform member of society. It's very difficult. It's near impossible. But it's definitely something that can happen. So I would be, we're, we're almost a month away. I would be looking for something. I think it's probably not going to happen until August, September. You want to get in while the holiday season starts so you can ramp up all the CPMs, you know, the, all the ad revenue, all the sponsorship deals and all that stuff. And there's going to be people who will latch on to him. If he creates a new narrative, if he actually comes clean and, and, and kind of clear, clears up some of this stuff and rewrites the narrative somehow, I think there's a chance. We'll see. 
watch this space. I'll continue to cover Dr. Disrespect, and I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.